Let's go to the Birch Aquarium for Oceans at Night. Oh, um, okay, first, I'm Alyssa. This is my spouse, Jasmine. Um, I use she, they, and they use they, them. Anyway, back to the Birch Aquarium. So every month, the Birch Aquarium hosts this event called Oceans at Night. And this is the outside of the building, and I thought these projections were so cool. Um, you wait in line. It's a 21 and up event. So they check your ID when you get in, um, which is what we are currently waiting in line for. And then um, you go in and then they don't have to check your ID at the bar, which is pretty nice. And there's no kids, which for a lot of people is quite the bonus. The line wait wasn't too long and you could hear the music from inside. So, you know, just a little bebopping around to try and pass the time. I think it took us maybe five minutes in line to um, have our IDs checked, scan our tickets, and go in. And there was no food or beverage from outside allowed, but there also was no bag check, which I thought was really interesting. I feel like most events have a bag check, and they didn't ask any access questions about my service animal, which is also very different. I've never had no one ask a question, but I guess our gear was official enough that day. Now, per the ADA, that would just be like two questions that they're legally allowed to ask, but they decided to not ask. Um, We've been to the Birch Aquarium a couple of times before, um, but this was the first event where they were playing music. So I did have to put my hearing protection in. These are my loops. Um, I take them everywhere with me, especially when we go to events because I'm really sensitive to sounds and smells and a lot of things, but helping not as much loud sound come into my ears is um, the key to not having a meltdown immediately. This was the inside in the foyer. I really dug the vibe in here. It was pretty cool. And look, there are sharks hanging from the ceiling. These are not real sharks, obviously. Um, that would be gross. Do a tippy tappy dance, because I was excited, anxious. Um, they promised DJs and games, music, and then you get to go through the whole aquarium as well. Um, except for the birds, which was closed off. But let's take a stim break. Air guitar. Can you tell I've never played a guitar before? What was also great is um, they had two air hockey tables and then outside they had two cornhole areas as well as giant Jenga. They also had Connect Four, and I think we were most excited about the air hockey because I don't have an air hockey table at home, but we do have a cornhole set. And I definitely pulled a muscle over working my body playing air hockey, but honestly, worth it. It was really great that this event was ticketed because I didn't have to worry about crowding. You can see here that I had a lot of space and everyone was walking around my service animal um, no problem and didn't have any problems ignoring her, which is great because a lot of people for some reason cannot ignore a service animal. But there she is just being a really great doggo. To recap, we were promised a excellent ambiance and they delivered on that. The lighting was really great. They promised games and music, which was super fun. They did promise food, but I was so glad we ate before because the lines were so long and everyone when they first got there got in line and then there was so much more to do outside that you didn't see when you first walked in. So I was really grateful that we didn't have to wait in any lines. Once we went outside, you could see the tide pools as well as have a very romantic view of the ocean, which I am actually really terrified of, especially at night because it's so dark and so scary. They had people from the aquarium with UV lights and red lights to show you some of the bioluminescent sea anemones, which was really cool. 
and I asked what the difference was and I'll be honest, the person had no idea, but that's okay. Um, this is also a touching pool, which is obviously not for me. No, thank you. Uh, that's gross. Over here, they showed us this baby lobster, and he apparently is really little, but he looked pretty big to me, and she used the red light to show it to us clearly, um, and that it actually reflected the color better, which was kind of crazy. And then you can see her pointing to the bubbling water in the back, which is actually them pulling water from this very scary ocean. but really comment below, I don't know the difference. I have some preference for the ocean. All right, let's do this fish. Let's go into the glow and go through some of the aquarium. This is where they had a microscope with really icky, what looks like um, mites. I don't know, I didn't like it. And then there was a bunch of jellyfish, but it was super crowded in that area. So let's have a turtle break because this sea turtle is the best sea turtle. I love her very much. Oh, look at her. She was rescued um, from the ocean. They think she was hit by a boat. Her back legs are paralyzed, so she's a disabled queen. And they actually printed a 3D part of her shell so that she could survive because turtles are attached to their shells. Um, she is amazing. She's awake for very little time and then comes up for air goes to sleep for two hours, so we were really grateful. We got to spend some time with her um, because the event was only three hours long, so it was kind of a long shot that she would be awake and she was dancing and partying and having fun with her disabled fishy friends. And unfazed service animal because she's perfect. Something to look out for is the Birch Aquarium is opening a new exhibit. You can see them working on it there and it's all blocked off. It used to be a kind of creepy crawly creatures of the undersea exhibit, so I'm excited for a new one. But let's go visit my favorite area, which is the little sharkies. Right outside the sharks, there was a photo booth. So if you know anything about me, or if you don't know anything about me, well, let's just say I love a photo booth. Any chance for a photo, I love it. Also, why do I not know which way lips go? Catch us posing, and here are how the pictures turned out. I love them. I'm also a little plain. So cute. Another feature of the event was a bioluminescent experience, which is in this tent. And they kind of didn't want to let us in because they thought my service dog would have a problem. It was very weird. They said there were live animals in there. I said, okay, we know about the penguins. We've been here before, but it wasn't the penguins. So then he said that we could go in and I asked, well, what's in there? With a straight face, he said bioluminescent plankton, which I would not consider a live animal. Overall, I had a 10 out of 10 experience. Um, have you ever been to the aquarium? Would you go? Let me know. That'll be it from us. So let us know what you think about this event. Would you go? Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment below. Can you see her? <laughs> no, I couldn't see you. Can you see me? Yeah.